welcome to the Trade Ideas Live Trading Room Recap for Wednesday, April the 6th. My name is Barry Anderson. I'm in the moderator of our trading room. This is the address to get into the room. It's a free room. I share my screen all day long. I'm on the mic between 9 and 4 p.m. Eastern Time. And as I say, I share the screen on my screen all day long. If you'd like to take out a subscription to Trade Ideas, this is the link that you can use. Uh, there may be a little bit of noise in the background. I have some contractors over, so um, I apologize for that. However, what an exciting day after you know a few days in which it's been very, very dry. And as I've said in the past videos, and kind of waiting for next week for earnings seasons, to excuse me, to start again. But, um, you know, if you did see my video yesterday, you know that we, I uh, basically said we should be watching AGN today. You know, this was the big drop. This was uh, on, what are we now, Wednesday. So this was Monday's close, 277, all the way down to 217. Just a massive drop. Basically news of Pfizer, uh, the Pfizer AGN deal. Uh, dissolving uh, because, of course, the uh, the federal government wants to kind of close that uh, inversion loophole in which companies can basically kind of say their head office is in a foreign country so that they get a better tax break, on and on and on. So this put the this has put the kibosh to that deal, but it's not like AGN is going out of business. So uh, I basically said we should be watching this one tomorrow, which is today, uh, to see if there's any um, a possibility of, of some uh, you know closure of this gap. Well. Um, Turned into be a great trade. I know for a lot of people, and certainly for me, got into the trade right here around 239.45. Um, and the last, my last exit was at 240, um, just around 240. Just a second here. That's why it's not showing. 246. Sorry, 246. 60. So, you know, over $6 on, uh, from my initial uh, entry. Uh, I did trade it out, uh, you know, 241, 242, 244 uh, and change throughout, but this turned out to be a great trade. Now, I would keep watching this, um, you know, again, with that gap, uh, that intraday gap that is just looming at us uh, or staring at us. So, I would absolutely keep watching this one. Uh, it still has uh, room to run if it wants to. Now, couple other uh, really nice trades and one just one second here just want to um, because yeah I'm still in Momo uh, MOMO this was somebody spotted this early morning I didn't really see this uh, you know look look at this uh, closing at 1178 and then in the pre-market got as high as 1435 a little bit of dip on on the open like just a small one I didn't uh, partake in it here I did get into the trade at 1520 on this little, little pullback right there finally gave me a bit of an opportunity because if you were going to try to get in here you were just chasing it so I was looking for any sort of an opportunity to get in and it was holding fit remember these are 15 minute candles so it was holding 15 minutes or sorry 15 it was holding uh, uh, 15 on the 15 minute candles and on this action right here I did take the trade just a little mark up here on the horizontal line got uh, took it at 15 uh, 20 and I did sell a little bit, believe it or not, at 15.30, just to, uh, uh, actually, I think it was on this action right there as it was popping down, just to make sure, lock in the uh, lo lock in some uh, uh, profit. And then have been writing it ever since, been waiting and waiting and waiting for a really hard break of 16. I did uh, take some out at 16.21 uh, in order to get that uh, that elusive uh, dollar, dollar one actually for from my entry. And I'm still holding it. There's no reason for me to get rid of it yet. Uh, if it broke down, as I was saying in the room, if it broke down probably into the 80s, back into the 1580s, I, will, I would get rid of it. But uh, that turned out to be a really nice trade, even though it looked like, you know, you, you've missed the major run. Still, you know, you're getting a dollar and on pretty tight, uh, pretty tight uh, stop. So that's what you always like to see. And the other one was Gibson, or it's not Gibson, it's Great Basin. And let's uh, type in their correct symbol here, GBSN. Now, if you know anything about this stock, this is almost a cult uh, stock on on the stock twits. I know, I know like a lot of a lot of posts about it. They just underwent a 35 to one split. So right now at 35 to one, you know, that stock is trading at 12 cents uh, pre-split and a um, uh, reverse split. And I think when they did the reverse split, it was at 17 cents. Now, just take a look at the daily on this. You're going to see. You know the craziness here. This is this is in essence when they did the split. 
a reverse split. And then look at this crazy day, uh, 544 all the way up to 1160. And it's dropped, you know, it's dropped obviously considerably. Generally speaking, when a company does a reverse split, it's it's sort of the death knell. Uh, but you can always get some very interesting intraday trades. And so we had one of our posters in our room uh, a couple of days ago started talking about uh, GBSN. And so I did put it on my uh, radar at uh, for a f actually I was watching it yesterday. Um, if you look at it yesterday, you'll see it had a break here of 408 right up to 408 I was waiting for another break it didn't happen it pulled back down below four but I had it on my uh, uh, radar on my price alerts uh, had it right here at uh, 409 you see this green line uh, so it was in my price alerts and when it triggered uh, I didn't get I did I waited a little bit because the spread was a little bit uh, dicey so I did wait a little bit and but I did finally enter the trade at uh, 421 right about right here Right there, 421, and it almost took off immediately. Again, these are 15-minute candles, so uh, but it almost took off immediately. Uh, I took, I did take some out at uh, 439. I took some out at uh, 465 on this candle right there, and then on it on the way back down, I took the rest out at um, what was the price? 441, 441. So. Um, you know, I mean, this one will probably still have some action uh, and probably worth it. But I mean, this is definitely not nothing that I would ever, 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 I'll say it one more time, ever swing. And the other one, which is doing okay. Um, this was from our AI channel yesterday. And, uh, you know, it, it triggered right around here at $4, uh, 404 actually was the trigger. Okay. And I watched it go up and it came back down and I said, well, based on the daily, because this is what, this is the exciting part of it. Look at this daily. This is what we look for. So you see, we've got this void above here of almost, uh, almost $2. So you see this big drop, a little bit of consolidation. It had a day here. That's what got us uh, excited about it. And then, you know, the next day, Holly had the, um, actually, I think, I think the alert was here. I think the, I think the alert was on this day. And then here is where, you know, I was looking maybe to get into it, but it just didn't want to stay over above four. But I, I set my alert at, uh, I think it was at 411. And actually, I set it around 420. That's why this is here. And so I took the trade at 420. Now, I'm, I've held on. It got up as high as 443. I'm actually considering uh, swinging this one. Uh, a little bit uh, dicey. It is a it is a bio, but you know the bios are just ripping right now. Uh, I'm just going to put on, I'll put on the IBB. IBB is just having a great day. I could spell it. I'd be having a great day, and this happens to be our trade of the week. And you know if you attend the webinar tonight at uh, 7:30 Eastern time. Uh, Steve Gomez is uh, now going to be doing the uh, the Trade of the Week webinars, and he was instrumental in, in uh, choosing this one. And, and his thought process, if you got the email uh, about the Trade of the Week, you know the thought process was this, is that the, the bios were starting to come back, but instead of trying to zero in on one, why not trade the, uh, the ETF? And so I think the alert went out. I think the price was, you know, in the 268, 270. So it's had a nice, nice uh, rise. And uh, this is not a day trade, not meant to be a day trade. And, you know, maybe a target over 300. We, you know, we don't know. I mean, we obviously don't know. If I were in this, if I had taken this, especially on this yesterday's little pullback and taken some, I'd probably get rid of some. Um, and maybe hang on uh, to see whether or not we get that really major uh, thrust. But there were so many bios that just had great a great day today. So um, that's you know that's the reason. I'm, and he'll go over his his explanation about why he chose it, as well as looking at a lot of other stock uh, stock possibilities. And I'm sure a lot of them are still going to be bios. Uh, this is one TTPH. This is another one that we uh, identified this, ident well, actually, I identified this morning from the uh, tr trend change lubricant. 
Uh, I don't see it here right now, but it was at right at the top of the list. And I said to I said to people, well, you know what? If it breaks through five, uh, you know, take a look at this. And that that's what's happened. You know, it's modestly broken through. But again, you look at the void. That's all we're doing. We're just looking at this big white area up here. I mean, sure, there could be some resistance right here, six. Uh, but you know, even it gets over there, we're talking ten dollars. So on um, on a percentage basis, uh, you know, you've got a you know, the the, the uh, rate of return or risk reward uh, certainly makes sense. So uh, this is what we look for. And I think he's, you're going to see a lot of stocks like this uh, in Steve's presentation tonight. All right. Well, it is FOMC day. Uh, the minutes are going to be read at 2 o'clock. It is 7 minutes to. That's why I wanted to get this. Um, I wanted to do the video a little bit earlier so I could get back and see the exciting action but this was a great great day uh, I think a lot of people in the room were very happy uh, probably made um, you know this is one of those days I said in the room there's probably four or five days a month <coughs> excuse me where you really have to kind of make make hay like those are the days where you can make some money and the rest of the days unfortunately can be kind of grindy and this is definitely one of the days where you had to get in and um, you know and, and make your money okay that's it um, Again, you want to subscribe to Trade Ideas. This is the link to use. And um, I'm free. When I say free, this is not just free for Trade excuse me, trade idea subscribers. It's free for uh, guests. You do not have to be a Trade Ideas subscriber to uh, participate in our room. Uh, you can post. Excuse me, you can post and you have full privileges. Obviously, down the road, we'd love it if you would take out a subscription because ultimately, it's just not a, all about me uh, posting my trades and your piggybacking. Uh, the idea is that you know you learn how to use trade ideas. You see the the tremendous value that we offer with the program, and then once you have it, of course, come into the room and and you know I'm there all day long to help uh, I answer questions about the program, uh, and of course we post our trades. And and it, believe me, it is not about uh, only about me. We have a lot of great traders in our room. All right. We'll see you tomorrow and um, good trading. Bye-bye.